Ross Turbo Levine. I am Majid Al Nakdi. I am Kapani Daniel. I am Bryce Mills. I am Anthony Lebron. I am Ashley Kuefane. I am Rowan Day. I am Juman Lazir. This is Fatih the Ottoman. I am Jonathan Tatamatsan. I am Oscar Lee. I am Abdul Fattah. I am Vidal Rally. And this is Knockout Night. The Ripper. <laughs> Knockout night. We're live on Fight TV. Let's get back into the action. Moving on to our next bout. It is a kickboxing matchup with three rounds in the super welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner from Athens, Greece. Give it up for Antonis Strauzalis. Strauzalis, the dog, coming from Athens, Greece. Fighting out of the Gun Academy, he's a former Greek national champion. What are you calling him the dog for? That's not polite to call another man a dog. <laughs> I'm curious, you know, you kind of in my mind, I'm wondering where he got that nickname from. A lot of the times fighters are given their nicknames. I wonder if he gave it to and himself or Bring we'll his opponent to the ring. Fighting out of the blue corner from Syracuse, New York, USA, Bryce Mills. And here he comes, the golden boy, Bryce Mills. Fighting out of Syracuse from my neck of the woods. And here with us, we have Ross Levine again, helping us commentate, also from the same neck of the woods. Ross, what do you think we're gonna see come from the Golden Boy on his professional debut? Well, knowing uh, knowing Bryce and seeing him fight all across the US, you know, he's been doing kickboxing, boxing, silver gloves. Uh, the kid is super, super aggressive. Uh, the one thing that is new for him in this fight, he's never had this experience before. He's a taller fighter this time. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the, literally the first time in his career that he has a size advantage over his opponent. So I, I expect him to do what he normally does, but I mean, possibly even amplified because of his size advantage. Absolutely. Uh, but you never know. I mean, we saw we saw some good fights from these Greek fighters. So we'll see what the dog brings with them. He's gonna have to be a dog in there because he's in there with a wolf. I love it. And you know, it's definitely important to mention, he's 17 years old. And he's pretty much won every amateur title that you could possibly win. Silver Gloves winner. I mean, if he wanted to jump on the boxing card, he easily could, but he's decided to make his debut as a kickboxer. Decorated football player as well. And he did state that he plans on doing at some point full sports, but yeah, starting with kickboxing. Speaking with him yesterday, he, uh, he let everybody know that his his real love is kickboxing, but he's going to go wherever this takes him. He's just on the ride and as a young fighter. I mean, he's got the world in the palm of his hand, so the, the talent is, 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 is just through the roof. Um, so he's able to really go whichever way he likes, and I'm excited to see this. But first off, he's got this big test here. Fighting out of the red corner, he hails from Athens, Greece, weighing in officially at 146 pounds with an official record of two wins and one loss. Representing the Gun Academy from Greece, he's a former Greek national kickboxing champion. Give it up for Antonis Dodo Strauzalis. And now, for his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he makes his pro debut here at 5 Palm Jumeirah. Coming in at 5 foot 8, weighing in at 154 pounds, from Syracuse, New York, USA. 
He holds an IKF World Championship and is the winner of the Silver Gloves National Champion, representing Team Montrello, Bryce the Golden Boy Mills. Getting some love from the crowd tonight. For all you guys watching around the world, do not step Referee away from this television. I promise you fireworks from the get-go. I wouldn't even blink. Bryce clearly spent some time at the gym. <laughs> Kid is shredded. <laughs> Jody, do you lift, bro? Do you even uh, lift? I did once, 1993. <laughs> Stopped after that. Threw your back out. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, back to the action. We're, we're going at round number one of this kickboxing bout. Fast hands from the Golden Boy, already with a skipping high kick. He's ready to put on a show for his pro debut. Not even giving any respect to his opponent. Just nope. I think he's going for the knockout first round. This is not going to last long. We had a quick interview at the open workouts and some weigh-ins, and he's going for this knockout. He said ASAP. Hammering those low kicks as well. Oh, I think like he's done already. Bryce, the Golden Boy, is just exuding confidence right now. Listening to his coaches, Team Andrello is in the house. Let's see if the dog can come back. I think Bryce has a midnight flight to catch, so he's looking to get in and out of here. Oh, that one hurt. Oh. Knee caught him, acting like it didn't, but come on now. And he's down again. They're throwing the towel. They threw the towel on him. Bryce Mills, the Golden Boy. That's how you make a professional debut. Bryce Mills, the Golden Boy, as advertised. Wow, lightning in a bottle with this kid. It's hard not to be biased because we're from the U.S. here, but man, Golden Boy did not disappoint. Bryce Mills, first professional win. Change your Instagram, my friend. <laughs> you know, Dallas. Team U.S. or not, it doesn't matter where that kid is from. That kid is amazing. I think people are going to be talking about who was that. Strauss obviously, he didn't know what hit him. Uh, I, I don't know. He kind of had a look of maybe a little bit of fear in his eyes going in. I think he knew what he was getting ready to get into, and obviously Bryce brought that to him. Yeah, just overall size advantage, speed. I mean, Strauss couldn't, couldn't get going. Bryce was all over him, and that's how he fights. Uh, so, you know, we're just going to keep watching this kid progress and grow, and I can't wait to see what's next for him. Who knows, with a performance like that, he might be fighting later this year on the beach. And obviously that six-pack had to intimidate him. And who knows? He might be fighting later on. I feel like he's ready to go. He still wants to keep going. Ross, you're There's, fresh. Yeah, Ross. How about, we, uh, how about we do a little exhibition? Uh, I'll, I'll just train with him. How about we just hold <laughs> pads or something? Clearly the uh, Jeff Mayweather kicking sessions from the other day with you and Bryce it paid off for It must have been. It must have been. Jeff was throwing. Jeff's two for two already. Yeah. You know he's going to claim that. That's okay. Uh, if anything that claims victory uh, on my behalf by Jeff Mayweather, I'll take it. In round number one, declaring your winner by TKO, Bryce the Golden Boy Remember Mills. that name, Bryce the Golden Boy Mills out of... Syracuse, New York, Bryce Team Andrello. All right, Ross, we're going to see you again in a couple fights for the, for the kickboxing action coming up. Thanks so much for joining us and, and providing your insight. The role of a champion is far greater than defeating his opponent inside of the ring. He takes on a responsibility as an ambassador, a hero, and more importantly, as a source of hope for children that have lost theirs. The Badu Jack Foundation was established to give children across the globe a fighting chance in life. From the self-sustaining program we've developed to providing essential nutrition to malnourished and impoverished children in refugee camps, to launching the Badu Jack Education Center to help teach those that cannot afford proper education, we take on these challenges wholeheartedly. This is our mission. The mission of the Badu Jack Foundation.